Uh, but before we even got started, there was um, some rumors going around that there was going to be a shortened stage that we're potentially going to see uh, a hundred odd K stage instead of 260. And what we got was the riders riding the neutral out of the town, getting back in the bus and then starting the stage at 120 odd K to go. What on yeah. earth is going on? <laughs> uh, well, it sounds like an absolutely bizarre, a bizarre day at the Giro, and um, it's it still seems a little bit unclear on on what actually happened, who who was pulling the strings in the bunch, how many riders and teams actually agreed to the shortening of the stage. I'm sure everyone, you know, deep down would have been happy to have the stage shortened because we, like we've been discussing this whole last week, this this stage, 260-odd K, just seems awfully unnecessary, uh, mm. was awfully unnecessary. But mm. for it to be bought up by the riders, um, again, not sure which specific riders. We know Adam Hansen was kind of in the thick of it, but uh, I'm sure there must have been some other people as well to, to get it off the ground. Uh, mm. piped up a little bit last night to have have the parkour changed, which for me it's it's a bit ridiculous that it, it took them up until 12, 24 hours before the stage to to say something. I think this probably should have been something that was done weeks ago before the Giro even started. And, uh, and it wasn't like the rider's safety was being compromised, which, you know, I think it sets a little bit of a dangerous precedent now, like mm. – Long stage, a bit wet. We don't fancy it. Um, and like I said to you uh, in the pre-recording meeting, which uh, won't lift <laughs> the hood on too much and what goes on in that, but uh, I would have been the first one to put my hand up and say, I don't want to do 260. And I think everyone probably would have been in the same boat. But you do the 260, you honour the organisers. The race has done so well to get this far and then to, to pull up stumps because you're a little bit tired from a lack of sleep and the transfers, which is all part of the Grand Tour. Um, I don't know. It, it just felt a bit off for me. I didn't like it. Mm. Well, first of all, you know my stance on long stages. And you know my they stance on them too. I, I, they I shouldn't, shouldn't have they been shouldn't there. They shouldn't be a thing. There should be a UCI ban on unnecessary length mm -hmm. just purely based on I assume, I assume the length comes from town A is paying X amount of dollars, town B is paying X amount of dollars, and they happen to be 260K away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that was that was pretty poor. That was from, from, from the writers or from this? From the writers. This writers union, which, which is a joke. I think, um, I think Adam Hans is getting a bad rap. I think he's just at the helm. Yeah. He's the comms man. Um, and if he's if his men are telling him he doesn't want to write, well, that's what he's got to communicate. I think he's getting a little bit of a bad rap for being uh the instigator. But um, where, where are the people where are the where are the where are the foot soldiers? Have they just all just disappeared back into the shadows oh, and not Cam, putting their hand up? It's it's the problem with the sport. There's no unity whatsoever. And the one the one chance they had, the one opportunity that they've chosen to show this unity, to show this riders' union, was wrong. It was yeah. so wrong. Yeah, there's been it many was other so opportunities. Far there's so many better ways that you could have used it. Um, mm -hmm. I yeah, I think this is going to shoot themselves in the foot a bit. Yeah. It doesn't make them. It doesn't. Yeah, doesn't reflect the riders in the best light because, I mean, there's been many many times where the parkour has actually been dangerous, or you know the weather has been atrocious. That's when the riders should unite and not want to stage. Yes, last night it was it was pretty cold. I think it was like twelve or thirteen degrees. It was pissing rain. They were up at six thirty for the transfer. You know there were a lot of things that weren't great and. You know, not a lot of incentive to do 260k, but like we said, the organisers have have got this race so far, and and they're the ones that are, you know, the ones that are being shafted. And I think the organiser um, has come out and and pretty much said like someone's going to pay, 
from this. I'm not sure what he means by that, whether he's going to take legal action on on teams or or what. But um, he he has he has every right to be to be super upset because it was it was presented to him within 20 hours of of the stage starting, not before the whole grand tour. So absolute shambles. And uh, yeah, I mean, all focus was kind of taken off the actual race, really. Mm. I um I feel sorry for the race organizer. Like what oh, an yeah. absolute joke. You've you've busted your balls to get this far in the Giro. You've done all the work, you've overcome some massive hiccups. It seems like it's rained the rained in the process is a bit tighter over the period of the race. And then you've got these riders going, I don't want to do 260 Ks. As you said at the start. I would not want to do 260 Ks and I would have been the first man to put my hand up to go, <laughs> yes, give me a shortened stage. And anyone that, I don't know, I you see you see those um, pieces coming out that, oh, some riders wanted to do the full stage. I, I don't think that's correct. I don't think anyone deep down wants to do the full stage. No one goes, we're going to get benefit out of this 260K day. Mm. Even th- there was no one to benefit. Maybe fatigue a little bit more yeah but... well i think i think ineos came out and said they wanted to race um maybe maybe because another 260 k's in the leg legs of wilco who i heard that he did 120 uh sorry an hour 20 by himself on the stage of the stelvio so he was time trialing for that long 260 yeah. k's in the legs gives you no time to recover so maybe ineos had some interest in the stage going ahead but yeah i I agree i don't think there was really too much to benefit from anyone but that was what was set out that was what the organizers had put forward you signed up for the giro Mm. and i don't think it was it was bad enough and i I saw some things that they were citing you know coronavirus we don't want to risk ourselves um in this bad wet weather although i didn't hear any of that when they were going over the stelvio yesterday which was three degrees at the top so or in, that, or in the first hotel when there was cowboys just rolling around the yeah. breakfast table. So uh, the whole thing seems a little bit off, and um, yeah, I'm sure there'll there'll be some things to come out of this. But hopefully, going forward with these stages, if someone's not happy with it, we can get things in place um, before before the the grand tour sets off because it's very hard for. Imagine how hard it is logistically to change that stage. Oh. <laughs> And then you just chuck them out in the highway and just start from 120 yeah. k's. Like by the time, the other part too is like the the worst part is getting wet at the start. Yeah. So they've got wet, and then they've got back in the vehicles, <laughs> and then they've got out and started again. Like it was almost just as bad. Like yeah. if you're gonna get out and start the race, you may as well just keep on going. No. Yeah. Bizarre, bizarre night. I, no, we haven't seen anything like this in cycling, I don't think. Mm. Uh, 